CBS News on the terror trail in Yemen. Our correspondent is there as a suspected terrorist linked to a September 11th hijacker is hunted down and cornered. He blows himself up. Face off at the courthouse. The American Taliban says, I'm not guilty. A hero's family says, you are a traitor. A house fight a late speech. into the night over campaign finance reform. And I on America, animal to human transplants. He got a new life, but there are risks. This is the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. Good evening. The latest battle in the war on terrorism took place today in Yemen. A raid triggered a gunfight that led to a chase and ended with an explosion. The only confirmed casualty, a suspected terrorist with direct links to Osama bin Laden's Al-Qaeda network, to a September 11th hijacker, and to the suspects named yesterday when the FBI issued its latest terror alert. 60 Minutes 2 correspondent Vicki Mabry reports tonight from the capital of Yemen. Yemeni officials say their security forces were met with gunfire tonight when they raided a house here in Sana'a attempting to arrest a suspected Al-Qaeda member. After the shooting stopped, they discovered the suspect had escaped through a back door and fled in a taxi. When they caught up with the taxi, the suspect jumped out and detonated a hand grenade, killing himself. <laughs> Authorities here say the man, 25-year-old Samir Ahmed Mohammed al Hada was known to have trained in Osama bin Laden's terrorist camps. U.S. sources tell us tonight that al Hada's name came up in documents found in Afghanistan. Sources at the Yemen Observer newspaper say the suspect was the brother-in-law of Khalid al-Midar, who was one of the 19 September 11th hijackers. Al-Midar was on the plane that hit the Pentagon. al Hada's other sister is married to Mustafa al-Ansari, one of the names on a list of 17 suspected terrorists released yesterday by the FBI. Fourteen names on that list are Yemeni nationals. U.S. officials say Yemen is a country where bin Laden has a handful of key operatives and perhaps dozens of second-tier activists willing to carry out terrorist acts. This also is the country where the USS Cole was bombed in the port city of Aden in October of 2000. The FBI has asked the Yemeni government for help in tracking down and arresting those individuals. Officials here have pledged their cooperation with the U.S. in the fight against terrorism and say tonight's raid is evidence of their resolve. Vicki Mabry, CBS News, Sana'a, Yemen.